Can't beat a day like this, eh? It's like the best. That's why we live in Perth. What the hell? That's um, Zach's brother's girlfriend. How are you? Did you know we were doing this? No, they just came in there. Ah, that's so Hi. funny. Hi. Um, I think I'm just gonna do an ice latte. Ice latte. Yeah. What, I, what should I get? Ice chocolate? Yeah. Can you just make me an ice chocolate, please? Yeah, do you want ice cream? No, it's okay. Who's gonna win more in 2024? I would say... I think because he's like more competitive, he's gonna say himself. No, I mean, but... But You're no. good. You're pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> Track record. I'm. I'm striving many, right how now. How many? Um, I got two. Did you win oh no, you got two. Well, you got, got one last year. I got two. I got two. All right. I got two within three events or something. I got two within. Me too. To be continued. Yes. <laughs> Minji is a straight line. Minwu is a squiggle. They will describe me as a jokester. I have fun with whatever I do. Oh. A social butterfly. He loves attention. Okay. He loves to show off. He's got a great long game. He's got a great short game. There's no reason why he can't be a world top 10 player. He does have that switch in him. Like when the crunch comes down to it, he, he does click into a different gear. Him being that happy-go-lucky self, and he takes that to the course, that's when he, he plays his best goal. Minji's different to Min. A little introverted. My caddy would probably say that I'm really quite intense, pretty like tunnel vision when I'm on the golf course. Do my job and then I'm, and then I'm out of there. Probably the hardest work I've ever met and known. Minji Lee wins the U.S. Women's Open at Pine Needles. She could win every major. For her to get beaten by the opposition, they're going to have to play pretty well. She's just worked her ass off and she's amazing. She deserves to be where she is. Growing up in Perth was awesome. There was always really great weather, great beaches, and really great um, practice facilities. We had lots of friends and friends to practice with, and I think that's why we were, you know, really competitive as we are now. And yeah, I think the weather's the best part of it. You know, least cloudiest days in the, in the world, which is nice. Yeah, courses were nice and really windy, so it was good for our golf game. Do you reckon the water will be cold? Yeah. It won't be terrible though. Oh, it will be nice. Do you remember coming here uh, when we were little? We used to sit over there in the great grass pit. Maybe I was not in my conscious mind yet. I don't remember a little kid, little kid <laughs> Min. My mum was a golf professional and then she started teaching. So uh, that's how my sister and I got into it. She let us do whatever we wanted when we were younger. So I swam, I, um, I did dance, I did um, theatre, I did so many things. And golf kind of was another sport that I did like naturally because our whole family played and Min Woo was always, um, always really interested. And our parents, um, they always played every weekend. Uh, I'd have like a little bucket of balls and I'd be hitting them and mum would be like, oh, um, let's try this or let's try that. So it was kind of funny now that I think back and I'd outdrive her and she'd be like, oh, so you're outdriving me now. <laughs> I was always kind of quite talented as a kid and I was good, but I like playing basketball and soccer and swimming more than golf. And then I decided to play golf when I was about 15. Min Wu wasn't quite, um, wasn't quite at my level at the time. So he would be practicing with his friends and I would be like, just go away. You're too loud or too noisy. <laughs> You're annoying. So we didn't play as much when we were younger, but we play a little bit more now um, here and there. And I think he thinks he has bragging rights at the moment. <laughs> It sucks for me because everyone was, at one point in their life, they were the best golfer in the family and I'm still, I'm still trying to get there. So um, dad played off plus one seven years ago. He was a really good golfer, still is a pretty good golfer. Yeah, we were a golfing family and that's how we got into it. Did you surf? Is it hard? I was actually pretty good. For like the first time, I was pretty good. Yeah. 
maybe I should. It'll be a yeah, workout. Yeah, it's so fun. You know, uh, you know that first feeling of like doing something for the first time. That was like. What if I suck? No, nah, you'll probably suck. <laughs> Perth's the most remote city in the world. We use that to our advantage. I think, you know, certainly within Australia, we're the, the underdogs, and we're seen as this outback town that has looked down upon at times. And we use that to our advantage, and that we we want to beat the opposition, and we want to beat the Eastern Staters, and we. Yeah, you know, we feel like we're not spoiled, and they are, and they don't have to travel. We do. And, you know, if we're going to travel for 24 hours to get somewhere, we want to play well when we get there too. It's not a case of just going around the corner. Yeah, that's what I was trying to hit. <laughs> Perfect. Mum and Dad has sacrificed so much for us, and it's nice that they're both retired now, and they can come out more often. I think, I think they'll definitely be proud of the way we've handled ourselves. It's definitely great to, you know, make them proud and play well as much as we can. They also have a sense of, we can do more. There's a sense of great job, but there's also a sense of let's go do more. <laughs>